We are wrapping up Happy Pets Week with this little segment we're calling Ask the Vet. Kelly and I have our dogs, mine behaving appropriately. <laughs> then there's Chewy. Um, we each have questions. Joining us via Skype, Georgia sit. Georgia sit. Ah, ah, Georgia. Ah, 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 Georgia sit. Go empty, Georgia. Go See, empty, I spoke empty, too empty. Soon. empty. Uh, from Can, Ohio, is veterinarian Dr. Jennifer Jellison. Jennifer Jellison, welcome back Hello. to the show to answer our Hi questions. There. Um, well, Georgia was good for a minute, and then she got excited. Look at all your puppies. Yeah, wh I know. Who do you have there, Doc? I have um, some puppies from Save a Mom. There's 11 of them. These guys are all going to be up for adoption in about two weeks. Oh, that's great. Um, well, our dogs are wandering around the set. Yeah. So there's a um, lot of scents here from the. Yeah, week. there's That's lots why. of dog scents everywhere. So Chewy's just sort of wandering around. But what I want to know is, uh, the older Chewy gets, and she's 15-ish, uh, maybe and yeah. change. And the older she gets, the more uh, I allow her to sleep in bed with me. And <laughs> sometimes in the middle of the night. I think, oh no, Georgia. the dog has passed gas, it's so pungent, and I realize <laughs> that it's her face. Okay, okay. So, so what do I do about that pungent, pungent, pungent odor? Well, if she's healthy enough for a dental cleaning, that would probably help quite a bit. Now at 15, I remember when you got her, um, she may not be healthy enough. So sometimes when you go to the veterinarian, they may do um, pulse antibiotics. They may actually give you, there are some, some things that'll, you know, you can put on for helping with her breath, but they don't, they don't work really well. Mm -hmm. The water additives don't work very well. I think maybe you could turn her face away from you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on that note about the teeth and the mouth and the breath, how often, I'm wondering, should I be brushing her teeth, her tongue, and taking care of her mouth? Check it out. Okay. So... You're going to take one of these dogs you, so they can't break, you know, back up on you. Mm -hmm. You want to use dog toothpaste at least once a week. You know, if you can do it every day, that's great. I, I would not have the time to do that. But if you can do it once a week, that will help break down the uh, bacteria that causes the tartar. Put a little bit on here so they can taste it first. See what they think about that. It's chicken flavored, so they should like it. And then I use a finger brush. A finger so brush, okay. Take, Take Got this it. right on here. Uh -huh. This is great. Put it on your finger. And then you just lift up like this and you go num 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 uh -huh. num. Num num num. And you make that little, yeah. you make you sing that song and it helps, right? You have to. Yeah. You have to. You know, this is the way we brush our teeth now. <laughs> and then when you're all done, um, basically the biggest important thing with this is don't let them eat this. Okay, because they want to eat this. It tastes like chicken. If you have a big dog like yours, there are big toothbrushes as well. And you can take that. Now, on this little guy, it wouldn't work, but it go right in here. And again, just on the outside. So you don't have to do the insides of their teeth okay. at all. So Got their it. tongue keeps that pretty clean. Okay, listen. It works really well. We are going to take a break. We'll come back with uh, some other dogs. gellman has got his. Our staff has theirs right after the break. Stay with us. Come on, Georgia. Come on, Georgia. Come on. Billy. Okay, you speak, I'm out of breath. You have no idea what's going on here right now, but there is like crazy happening everywhere. Joining us now with his new dog, Billy, is executive produce, producer of this show, Michael Gelman. <laughs> I can barely say it. Can you believe it, Dr. Jen? Gelman. Uh, no. Gelman has no, gotten himself a dog. I just want to say I am so, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, this is so awesome. I'm actually really, really happy. What's your question, Mr. Gelman? So my question is, uh, her, uh, his eyes get all kind of a little crusty and a little stained. Is that something to worry about? And what should I do other than keeping him short? Nothing you can do about it, really. His eyes are offset, so they stick out a little bit further, and his nose is smushed in. Ooh, so this. cleaning it and keeping it dry is, is the key. Oh, you you um, got go it. Go ahead and use um, aloe um, wipes. Nothing with any scent, aloe, nothing okay. with any alcohol. And just, you know... Wipe them every day. You got it. Uh, Thank you very much. It's, it's, part of the, it's part of the face. It's part of the face. Hey, look at Cindy McDonald's here. Hello. 
Look who's is that here. Oscar? Yes, it is. Oscar looks great. Thank you. Thank you. He's four. He's What's a your pretty question? healthy dog. I was asking, um, I was wondering actually, he likes to He's suck on his, way. he likes to suck on his foot occasionally, chew it, um, maybe soothe himself to sleep. It's very cute, okay. but don't know if it's a problem. Probably not. Does he have any sores or anything like that there? No, nothing. Okay. Well, Okay, I'd probably let him do it. You know, some of us rock, some of us pet like this. If you're really worried, I'd get an x-ray and make sure there's not any problem with the bone or anything. But sometimes they, they do that just to kind of, you know, make themselves feel good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Right. He's beautiful. Shirley, come on out with Oliver. Holly's here. Oh, Holly's here. Holly, <laughs> Holly boy. What's your question? Oliver's here. <laughs> Uh, my question is, what do I, I'm a little squeamish about cutting Ollie's nails. How do I know when they're too long or when I should cut them and how short should they be? Okay, so when you have the nails, you're gonna look at them. There's gonna be a thick part and then it gets real thin. Right at the thin part is where you're gonna clip, all right? Now, always um, have him sitting this way. Don't ever corner him and grab his foot. If you cut it too short, it's not a lot of blood. I use cornstarch, take a little cornstarch, put his foot in there, just be quiet and the bleeding will stop. Okay, thank you very much. Oh. Uh, You're welcome. Georgia licked Chewy's rear and Georgia's licked Kelly's face, so that yes. happens. Um, is that a question? Uh, here's... But what you don't know is that's how I often greet Chewy in the morning anyway. <laughs> Mike Fagan, our set designer. Come, who do you have, Mike? This is Finnegan. Your baby. This is my baby. Hi, Finny. Um, Hi, Finny. So my question is, Finnegan seems to eat everything. Outside, he, he was eating snow and ice, and now that it's thawed, he'll eat uh, rocks and twigs. And in Here. the house, he's um, obsessed with eating socks, and he's even eaten and digested my wife's underwear. When do okay. I know that this is a real problem? <laughs> well, <not> uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> when, when would he have to go to the vet? Um, okay. So we're gonna hope he outgrows some of this, but um, almost all of those things, if he eats any kind of material, he needs to go to the vet. I mean, we have dogs that come in weekly when they're puppies, but you don't wanna wait for that to pass. It could be an obstruction. So it's just the one time where it's not a good deal. So uh, the other thing is, you know, try to keep everything up, try to get hampers in every room with a lid on it so he can't get in it. Um, have him on kind of a little shorter lead when you go outside, but Rocks, we've taken rocks out surgically. We've taken mulch out. We've taken out lingerie that nobody seems to know where it came from. Um, so, you know, you want to um, probably have your vet on speed dial, sadly. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. <laughs> Jellison. Some great info. Thanks for putting a smile on our faces with all these I cute know, puppies. I know, it's so nice. We should bring our dogs to our... You know what? Now that Gelman has a dog, we'll all be allowed to bring our dogs oh, every yes, day. Yes, the rules have changed. Absolutely. If you want to adopt any of the dogs, you can go to our website for details, and we'll be right back here on Live. Georgia, you like Oliver? You like Ollie? Yeah.